the NBA has never fell short of producing some of the most exciting young second unit players that always seems to just provide an immaculate boost of energy. But when it comes to IQ, he's just seemed to always flourish in the bright lights, but has always played with an immaculate amount of joy and a chip on his shoulder because he's never forgot about every single one of the critics that downplayed his on-court abilities. This is the Emmanuel Quigley story. Emmanuel Quigley was born on June 17, 1999 in Havre de Grace, Maryland. Just like any kid growing up, on the daily, he fantasized about one day getting into the NBA. It became clear at a young age to his coaches that Emmanuel really took pride in being a team player, but also showed a leadership type trait that just made him stand out. And when he got older, a lot of people started to notice that but his play on the court really went up once he hit the 10th grade because while going to the John Carroll school quickly had a breakout season and put up 18 points, four rebounds and three assists, but also pitched in two steals a contest. But the momentum and confidence just kept getting even higher after he sunk a three pointer at the buzzer to lead his team to a one point win against NBA player Jalen Smith. And this wasn't just any game. He did this in the Baltimore Catholic League Championship, which really did catch the attention of a lot of people. Emmanuel was able to earn all Metro player of the year recognition Mission. And heading into his junior season, he had already grew to be 6'3 with a 6'9 wingspan. Scoring the ball just came natural to him. By now, he had so many weapons in his offensive arsenal. This was the season when he became one of the most efficient and reliable scorers on his team. He just kept getting better and with that came the exposure. And from his scoring ability alone, quickly was one of the better combo guards in the whole entire DMV area. He had a very special knack on getting into the paint and used his soft touch to float the ball over any of his defenders, but also had a textbook NBA ready jumper which allowed him to shoot a crazy 41% from three in his senior season and was one of, if not the best combo guard in the whole entire country by now, as he put up 21 points, seven assists and seven rebounds, but really went on to impress the University of Kentucky's head coach, John Calipari. And that was the fact that he upped his defense even more that season and put up a staggering four steals. Emmanuel really took initiative to use his 6'9 wingspan along with great effort, which made him a dog on defense. He simply put his team on his back and led them to a Maryland Interscholastic Athletic Association A conference title. At this point in time, he had worked his way up and became a five-star recruit, which named him to be a McDonald's All-American. And after he narrowed his long list of schools down to Kansas, Kansas, Kentucky, and Miami, he made the ultimate decision to sign a letter of intent to play basketball at the University of Kentucky, and he joined a very stacked guard-heavy backcourt, which consisted of Tyler Hero, Quade Green, and Ashton Hagens. As a freshman, it was a bit of a learning curve for him and it took a bit of time for him to get used to the competitive SEC. For that season, he put up five points, two rebounds, and one assist per game. But when he did get into his groove, it was hard to stop him. As his sophomore year rolled around, he improved tremendously and even went on to get his career high of 30 points and eight threes in a win over Texas A&M on February 25th, 2020. From there, he was named SEC Player of the Year. He went from only putting up five points a game in his freshman season to averaging 16 points, four rebounds, a contest as a sophomore. It was looking like he could be drafted late first to early second round and he had his share of critics that truthfully just doubted his potential due to his undersized slender type build. But he thought otherwise and was just used to being called undersized since a kid, which led him to hire an agent and chose to enter the 2020 NBA draft where he would go 25th overall to the New York Knicks. There was one critic that gave the Knicks a D plus for selecting quickly in the first round but quickly screenshotted that post and used it as motivation for his whole entire rookie season. He went on to surprise a lot of people that year and from his enthusiasm and spark that he brought to the floor at times during his rookie season really did have Madison Square Garden jumping. 
He truly embraced his role. He had solid court vision, a pull-up jumper, and his signature floater that helped him flourish. Emmanuel went on to have some pretty big moments in his very first playoff series versus the Atlanta Hawks. He put up 11 points and even shot 40% from the field to go along with 39% from three. New York's net rating with him on the floor was plus 6.6, .6, which was third highest among players who played at least 10 games. He roughly averaged the same in his sophomore year. He continued to get more adapted to the Knicks system. He just overall became a better leader, which really did give a lot of Knicks fans faith that he could be the potential starting point guard in the future. But fast forward into his third year, quickly has became the front runner for the NBA Sixth Man of the Year award over the last month. And he's now currently averaging 18 points per contest over his last 10 appearances. He's really continued to gain confidence as a shooter. And ever since the Knicks switched up their rotation and made quickly their sixth man, he has been shooting 38% from deep on 5.5 three-point attempts per contest. Now he's also second among the team's rotation players with a 58 8.7% true shooting percentage, but his game has truly transcended well beyond just a shooter. Emmanuel has grew as a distributor and has been averaging 3 assists per contest but also has posted a team leading 3 to 39 assist to turnover ratio. And despite his small 6'3 frame, he has the third best defensive rating on the Knicks. And according to the Raptor, the Knicks defense has been holding opponent to 11.5 fewer points per possession and 6.6% worse efficiency when he's on the court. And as he made his 11th start of the season due to Jalen Bronson's foot injury on March 5th against the Boston Celtics, Emmanuel had the game of his life and posted a career high 38 points while playing 55 minutes but also snagged eight rebounds. He dished out seven assists and had four steals in a double overtime win. Emmanuel quickly always had a combination of joy and competitiveness to his arsenal and throughout all the doubt and criticism that he experienced, he just used it as motivation while staying determined to get better year after year. How would you describe your performance? God is good. He gets all the glory. Uh, my teammates did a great job. Get me in place where I can be successful. Uh, I'm really proud of my team. Double overtime against a really good team. So uh, you can't ask enough for nothing better on a Sunday. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Emmanuel Quickly story.